The primary flight display, PFD, displays all the normal primary flight indications. Attitude. Airspeed. Altitude. Vertical speed. Heading and track. The green diamond represents track. Notice that the indicators are laid out in a classic instrument T configuration. The PFD also displays other information. The upper part of the display is used to provide information to the pilots associated with the Flight Management and Guidance System, FMGS. The area is known as the Flight Mode Enunciator, FMA. A flight director push button on the EFIS control panel enables the pilots to switch the flight director display on. Notice that there is an indication on the FMA when the flight directors are switched on. Caution, both flight directors must be switched on or both off. You should never fly with only one flight director selected on. When below 2,500 feet, a digital radio altimeter is displayed. In this module, we will concentrate on the primary flight indications. Let's start with attitude. Attitude information is shown at the center of the display. The attitude indicator is conventional. The aircraft is represented by three black and yellow symbols which remain fixed. There is a graduated scale for pitch angle above and below the horizon. Bank angle is displayed at the top of the indicator. Each graduation represents 10 degrees angle of bank. The roll index triangle moves against a fixed scale to show angle of bank. To show both the pitch and bank indications in use, let's look at the indication for a climbing turn. In this example, the aircraft is in a 20 degree bank turn to the left with the nose up pitch attitude of 10 degrees. Below the roll index is the side slip index. This index moves to indicate side slip and replaces the old fashioned slip ball. When the flight director push button on the EFIS control panel is selected, flight director indications are superimposed onto the attitude indicator. In the example shown, the flight director is centralized. The vertical line is the flight director roll bar, while the horizontal line is the pitch bar. Let's look at an example of the flight director in use. In this example, the flight director is directing a pitch up and roll to the right. Once the aircraft has achieved the required pitch and bank, the flight director bars will once again be centralized. Now let's look at the airspeed indications on the PFD. The speed scale moves behind a fixed yellow reference line and triangle. In the example shown, the indicated airspeed is steady at 250 knots. When the aircraft is accelerating or decelerating, a speed trend arrow appears. This arrow shows the value that will be attained in 10 seconds if the acceleration remains constant. In the example shown, the aircraft will decelerate to 240 knots in 10 seconds. When the Flight Management and Guidance System, FMGS, is controlling the airspeed, a magenta target airspeed triangle appears. This is normally referred to as managed speed. In the example shown, the managed target airspeed is 240 knots, and the aircraft is decelerating toward that speed. 
If the target airspeed is selected manually, a blue triangle appears. This is normally referred to as selected speed. In the example shown, a selected airspeed of 260 knots has been set and the aircraft is accelerating toward it. Manual speed selection is achieved by a rotary selector on the FCU panel. Just above the selector is the indication of the selected speed. As a general rule on the PFD, a magenta indication means managed and a blue indication means selected speed. You will see this in the examples that follow. To understand the various other indications on the airspeed scale, we will run through a typical flight profile. We will assume a departure with the flaps in position 3. You will learn about the various flap and slat configurations in the flight control modules. During the takeoff roll, a blue decision speed, V1, and a magenta V2 speed are shown. Notice that since these speeds are beyond the visible scale, they are shown as numbers. As the takeoff progresses, V1 and V2 indications appear on the speed scale as a blue 1 and a magenta triangle. During all takeoffs and go-arounds, the speed reference system, SRS, is active. SRS will command an initial climb speed of V2 plus 10, or in case of engine failure, V2 or existing speed. In this instance, note that the managed speed triangle remains at V2, while the actual speed is 10 knots higher. The minimum flap retraction speed is shown by a green F. This is referred to as F speed. The flap limit speed is shown by a red and black strip at the top of the speed scale. At F speed, the flaps are retracted to 1. When the flap handle is placed to 1, the F disappears and is replaced by an S. At S speed, the flaps are retracted to 0. The S disappears and now the green dot symbol appears. Green dot is defined as the best liftover drag speed. Note that United Airlines uses a thrust reduction acceleration altitude of 800 feet AGL. At that point, it is UAL policy to clean up and accelerate to green dot. Green dot speed is maintained until 3,000 feet AGL, at which point the aircraft is returned to managed speed and allowed to climb at 250 through 10,000 feet. Above 10,000 feet, the target speed will increase to climb speed. The actual speed will be determined by the cost index number. UAL's policy is to use a cost index of 35, which results in a climb speed of approximately 300 knots. At approximately 25,000 feet, VMO becomes the airspeed equivalent of MMO, Mach point A2. In this example, the indicated VMAX of 300 knots represents the equivalent of Mach point A2. Present airspeed is 280 knots, or Mach Point seven eight two. During an FMGS computed or managed descent, the single triangle is split into two to give a speed range. A double magenta bar indicates the target speed. A standard descent speed of cruise Mach with a crossover to indicated speed at 280 knots is inserted into the FMGS and is treated as a managed airspeed. The speed will vary in between the two speed range indicators as the aircraft maintains the required descent profile. Following initial deceleration to 250 knots, we see the symbol for the next flap limiting speed, VFE next. Since the aircraft is clean, the next flap setting is 1, so the symbol appears at 230 knots, which is the maximum speed for extending flaps to 1. The VFE next indication will be visible provided the aircraft is below 15,000 feet. Green dot speed may also be visible. 
It is UAL policy to slow to a minimum of VFE minus 10 knots before selecting the next flap setting. A further deceleration to green dot speed takes the airspeed below the VFE for the first flap selection. Flap 1 can now be selected. Notice that a target speed of 140 knots has appeared. This represents the approach speed target. Once the flap lever is in position 1, S speed, VFE next, and the flap limit speed indications will appear. If the system is in the manage speed mode, air speed will automatically decrease to S speed. Notice that at S speed, the aircraft is below the limit speed for the next flap setting, BFE next. Flaps 2 can now be selected. Click on the flap lever. As soon as the flap lever is in position 2, S speed is removed. F speed and a new VFE next indication will appear. The flap limit speed will move to a new limit.